Hey everybody, how are we doing today? Just got a few new cases sent to me by Shades Cases. Uh, if you're not familiar with Shades Cases, as you guys see here, they are very, very lightweight, very thin cases made for your iPod. Uh, you can get them for iPod Touches, iPod Nanos, basically any iPod model that's uh, out right now available. Um, so, it comes in 12 different colors, and the idea behind Shades Cases is well, they named it this for a reason, is so that it can add a certain shade to your iPod, um, and it's not really meant to give the best protection, 100% protection to your iPod, but it's a very durable case, very, very lightweight. It's only 0.5 ounces, and it's also 0.4 millimeters thick. So you got just about nothing on your case, or on your iPod right now. It's only there to add a little bit of a sleek uh, finish, nice color to it. So let's apply uh, the case onto my iPod. Very simple. All you need to do is just squeeze the sides together, stick your iPod in, and then while squeezing a little bit, just slide it up in there, and finished. <coughs> That's all you got. So slide it on over. And as you guys see here, I got this case right here. Let's pull this one over too. Uh, the casing also has a little bit of a screen protector on it as well. You have this solid right here as you guys see right there. So this little uh, rectangle is not cut out for your uh, sliding on the touch screen. This is actually covered and protected very nicely. So if you don't have a screen protector, there's a little uh, bonus for you right there. So anyway, as you guys see, the only things exposed are your 30 pin connector and your headphone jack on the bottom. Everything else on the side is covered up, it's sealed in, it's not really ridged up or anything like that, it's not cut out, so you're actually kind of having to play it by memory of uh, where each button is. So the volume, actually I have found it to be a little bit inconvenient to access uh, on this casing, especially because these ridges do pop out a little bit, they are a little bit more of a sharper cut, so it can be actually a little bit more uncomfortable to actually try and access them. Uh, also with the sleep-wake button, it's already just about pushed down. This case is such a snug fit to your iPod. Uh, the sleep wake button's just about pushed down at the entire time, so that can kind of be a downer because right there I didn't push it and it just fell asleep on me. Let's see if I can do this too. See this right now? I am not pushing the sleep wake button as you guys see. Sleep wake button's not being pushed by me, but every time I push the home button. Oh, okay, now it's done. But sometimes when I push the home button, it will actually take a screenshot of the uh, iPod, and that only does it when you hold down the sleep wake and uh, push the home button at the same time. So that means that this casing is an extremely snug fit, almost too snug. Uh, I kind of wish that they would have cut out little holes so you can be able to... Uh, access these a little bit easier because this is one of the only cases from Shades cases in which you can actually see the buttons. Now, let me take my iPod out of this. Also, it's not too troublesome to get your iPod out. Just kind of weasel it out at first and then it should just slide out pretty nice and easily. After the first time you apply it, it pretty much just goes in with a nice ease. So, this is the other color that I got sent to me. This one's called Midnight Black. Okay. So this one's in now too. So as you guys see here maybe, this is a very sharp siding right here. That's a good picture right there. Very sharp, very sharp siding, so it's actually pretty uncomfortable to try and access the uh, volume rocker switch. Also, sleep wake button. Now you just have to play it by memory on where it is. As you guys see on the midnight black, you cannot see the buttons. You cannot see where they are. You still have these bottom things on uh, open, but you really can't see where these are, so you have to play them by memory. The backing of this has a pretty nice metallic look to it. It has your iPod logo still available, and you can also see the Shades logo. Uh, I don't know why I didn't do this earlier, but we're going to pop the black and or the iPod back into the black and white case, and I'm going to show you what a different tone will look like with this. Alrighty, so now the backing of it. I love the backing of the black and white case. As you guys see, it is a very nice metallic tone look to it. I think that's one of the sweetest looks I've seen on the casing so far. Uh, it really shows off the backing of the iPod still. It's got a gorgeous back, and then this case really just brings it out completely still, I think so. Um, there's 12 different available colors for the Shades cases. They're all the uh, same style, all lightweight, all thin. All of them hugged your iPod, same style. Uh, check the more info section down over here, and you'll be able to find all the information you need to on a Shades case. 
So that's pretty much all I've got for this casing so far. Uh, it's really a little bit iffy on this screen protector that they've added on. It is a little bit more of a thicker than normal screen protector. It's not 100% like not noticeable. It is, no it is noticeable on the uh, front. Um, I could live with it. It's not terrible. But it's one of those things that... I don't know. It's it's really if you want this kind of a screen protector, it's this will be a solid screen protector. This is the best screen protector you're probably going to be able to buy, really, uh, basically because it's so thick and it's integrated into the casing itself, not on the iPod. But if you're looking for a really thin, not even noticeable screen protector, you might want to just go out and try and get a different one. Anyway, that's basically all I have for you guys for this video. Um, yeah, 12 different colors. The casing itself. This case is not meant for an iPod lover who doesn't want their iPod to never take an ounce of or a little bit of damage whatsoever. If you drop this iPod in this case from a table or from a few feet up, your iPod could take some damage. It's not the most protective casing out there. They make this case so that you can have a sleek, trendy uh, design that can pretty much go with anybody's sense of a style that they want. It comes in just about every color imaginable. So they're making this case so that you can have a lightweight, barely noticeable case in your hand and they're doing it so that you can be able to find the casing that you want to have a color to not really the most protective case out there so anyway check the more info section right over here I have my rating on the case I'm now going to be doing a rating scale for all my case reviews um, on a couple different levels and anyway that's all I got for this case shades cases got the price got the link over in the more info section on the right go out and check it out it's a great case definitely recommend it to anybody looking for a nice colorful barely noticeable case out there so that's all I got for you guys have a fantastic day I'll see you later